Welcome everybody to episode 13 of Let's Chat Community Rugby, where we take a look at all the weekend's results in the FMG Premier Grade. We'll look ahead at the tips of the week now that we've split um, divisions. Uh, we'll also look around the grounds, uh, local hero of the week and TMO Clip of the Week. I'm your host, Dane Lazarus, joined by Graham Cooper. Coops, thanks for joining us. G'day, Dane. How are you? I'm going well, mate. Thank good you. weekend? It's, it was good. Got down to watch some club footy, which is good, Perfect. over at uh, Harvey Field. Nice. In a nice tight, nice, tight one there as well. Everything on the line for Wanneroo, but we'll get to that. Um, and we might let, let's start there, Coops. Um, we had some interesting results. There were four teams in in um, position to make the top six, three spots to be filled by four teams who have a possibility. And um, came down to why in that game, um, Wanneroo versus Cottesloe at Harvey Field. I was there, 18 10 to Cottesloe. Tough, tough game, uh, windy conditions. But the Cop boys were just too good, too physical. Um, against the Wanneroo boys, who played really well. The loss, even though they lost, still got into the top. Yeah, they were, they were lucky there. If, if we then moved to the Harks Pally game, one point in that, uh, Pally had to win to to keep their spot in that top six. Um, didn't get the cheese, unfortunately, didn't get the cheese. Dave. No, lost um, so the, I think the Wanneroo boys at Cot were a little bit disappointed after their game, but after a couple of minutes updating their Rugby Explorer yeah. app, um, saw that they, they made it through, so they were pretty happy after that. Yeah, absolutely. I spoke to a couple of the coaches, and yes, they, they were disappointed by the result, but happy that they're through, and then it's a new ball game essentially here, That's here it. on in. Finals footy from here on in, pretty much. Um, in those other close games there, Coops, uh, so Soaks, well, the other ones that mattered was Soaks versus Southern Lion. Soaks too strong for Southern Lions, 91-17. And the other one there was UWA, Joondalup and, and UWA. Too good in that one. You were in the middle. Yeah. What did you see from UW? Uh, mate, UW just really clinical. Um, their ball handling was awesome. Their speed at the breakdown to recycle the ball was good as well. Didn't allow any of the uh, Joondalup back rollers on, on the ball on the weekend, which allowed them to use it pretty quickly. So yeah. the Joondalup boys ran out of legs, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And in other results there, Kalamunda 58 defeated Perth Bayswater 20. West Scarborough 106 defeated Curtin to 3. Nedlands in a tight one at Oakmont Reserve got over uh, Coastal Cavs 19 to 13. Um, and there's a few uh, heads at Nedlands that are, you know, looking at the result and going, that's not where we need to be. So Yeah, that's right. I think a couple of the old heads got them through that game. I think they're in a bit of trouble. Yeah. Um, the likes of Peanut and things like that yeah. really narrowed the game up and and um, they got the win over them in yeah. the end. So let's, let's just have a look at the ladder here, Coop, straight up about the, now that we're in two, uh, in the split, sorry, um, going into the next round, we've got Premiership Division and Championship Division. The top six, Cottesloe, Nedlands, West, UW, Associates, and Wanneroo are in that um, Premiership Division. And then, which leaves the remainders, which Palmyra are currently sitting at 36 points at top, with Kalamunda, Arks, and 31, Southern Lions, 25, um, June Love, Cavs, Basie and Curtin rounding up that um, eight. Yeah, I think it's really important to note how the final structure the, after the next five rounds will, will end up. So the, the two top placed teams in championship division will play the bottom two. So the five and six placed teams in the premiership division um, for a finals berth in that um, competition. And then obviously in the premiership division, top four go through to that finals process. So uh, the last two in that premiership will get us another crack in finals. Um, and it'll be just up to who then places in that top two um, in that bottom division or that championship division there. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, it's, it's finals footy for everyone here on in. Um, it. And it'll be great. Some great rugby being played, I think. We'll go look at Coops around the grounds. Um, we'll have a quick look at what's happening in the community, uh, we'll start with uh, your neck of the woods, Coops, in, in high performance yep. um, around regionals. Yeah, give us an update. So under 15s regionals, have, uh, trials have been played over the last couple of couple of weeks. That those 15 squads have been now now been selected. Um, so congratulate congratulations is the word I'm after um, to those boys that made those two squads north and south. Um, those who missed out, the trials were. Um, were, were most probably the best trials I've seen for a while in those in that age group. So unlucky to those guys who, who didn't make it, um, but I'm sure you'll you'll grow from that um, learning 
and, and, and get better moving forward. The 16s um, regionals has been selected out of club and school matches. Um, and that will be going out to those successful participants um, straight after the filming of this. So um, stay tuned to that. They'll also be up, uploaded onto our website, both regionals, teams, 16s, 15s, um, as soon as possible as well. Um, when are those matches being played, Tibbs? So they're being played over the school holidays, uh, Saturday 13th, Wednesday the 17th, and Saturday the 20th. Um, both age groups will be playing um, one after each other at Curtin Uni. Um, Saturday's kickoff at 9am, um, and then the Wednesday night kickoff at 5pm at Curtin. Um, so head down if you want to see some pretty good football. Yeah, and, and probably key one here, Coops, um, it's not the only opportunity for players to make our state teams yep. at the end of the day. Uh, coaches will still be watching club yep. and school That's it. and can bring boys in and out of those squads. Yeah, definitely. So obviously a couple of people weren't available to trial um, for the regionals. Um, they haven't been selected because of they, they weren't able to trial, but um, our coaches will be still involved in club and school football over the, over the coming weeks to be able to select the best state squad that we can send away to nationals. Yeah, perfect. So, well done to those and good luck for the regional games coming up. Um, so our under-18 state team um, are kicking off their national campaign this weekend. Um, we've got New South Wales, Waratahs, 18s heading over west. Um, they can cop the travel this time. Um, they'll be playing at Palmyra at 12.30 p.m. on Saturday um, there. It will be live streamed. Um, as part of the match of the round set up down at Palmyra on the weekend. So if you can't make it down, tune into the live stream. Otherwise, head down and support our, our young talent. Yeah, kick off at 12.30 there at Tompkins Park. That's so it. it should be a great day. Pally will put on a bit of a show, as they always do. Yep. Um, and good luck to all the boys. Good luck to Jack Lloyd and the coaches as well for that one, their first fixture. Um, and Coops, and the other one there is the Wander uh, Wallaroo women. They're heading into camp. We have four WA ladies, uh, Mika, Beck, Trilene, and Ariana, who all have made that initial squad and hopefully will get selected for Japan, which is their first test. So they're heading in camp. Good luck to those ladies. Um, another one, Dwayne Nesta, head coach, so another WA um, one there. Matt Tink is also involved in the Wallaroo Center. Old Tinky. Old Tinky. Most people in the community can still remember him. Um, so yeah, we've got a couple of WA, uh, uh, I guess, products involved in that Wallaroo women uh, squad, so good luck to all. Yeah. Um, last around the grounds topic that we'll talk about today, our two belt up rounds, um, obviously supporting one of our major partners in insurance um, commission of WA with their belt up message. Um, the first one there will be round 15, 13th of July, um, Wanneroo v UWA at McGillivray Oval. So that'll be our live stream match of the round um, that weekend. And then round 18, 3rd of August will be the Southern Lions v Coastal Cavs game at Success Sports Complex. Um, so, big thanks to Belt Up once again. Um, important message that we want to get out to everyone uh, around the use of seat belts and just driving safely within the community is, is huge. So, we thank them. Keep an eye out for those rounds as well. Right. If we go, Coops, we'll go. Let's do some tips of the week here, yeah, Coops. Everyone's favourite. Everyone, everyone loves our tipping because we're. So I want it. How did you go last week, Dan? Uh, I got your one right. We all mentioned what I said, but people can look back at what I did and then look at Coops' game, and I got it right. Um, we'll start off with Wanneroo versus Wests over at Kingsway Reserve, Coops. Yep. Who do you have in this one? Um, bit of a training run last week for the West Scarborough boys, so they won't be too battered. Um, last time they played each other in the wet at Wanneroo, it was five... Seven, yeah, I think. Close. Pretty close game. So it'll be physical. Um, I do think the West Scrum is too good for Wanneroo after what I saw um, that day. Um, so I'll pick the West boys. Just. I reckon two points in it. Again, yep. nice close one. Nice coach killer. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, Netherlands UWA at the foreshore is the next one up there. I'll, I'll, I might tip this one, Coops. Yep. Uh, be tough. Netherlands didn't get the you know the win they were probably hoping for against Coastal Cavs, who played very well. Um, UWA coming for a big win. This could actually be again a, a two pointer in this one, and I think UWA are 
probably going to have the first upset of this Woo. of this uh, second round or nice. second part of the comp. So I picked you up there over the Netherlands. They look good last week, mate. Yeah. I'll throw this one to you because I'm not tipping this one because I'm refereeing it, mate. Um, Soaks v. Cot, Battle of Broom Street down at the Boneyard, yeah. as the Soaks boys like to call it. Who have you got? Uh, I'll, I'll start my ref on influence games at all. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, Soaks Cot, this could be anyone's game, um, but looking at how the Cot boys are, are coming into the second round, they got a couple of boys back from injury, they've got good depth within their um, club at the moment. And I think they're going to be too strong. I, I, I'll probably pick them by, by 12 points here over Soaks, who were off a good win, but I don't think they'll have the, uh, enough to take the cheese in this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we go to the championship division here, Coops. We've got Coastal Cavs taking on Curtin at Lark Hill. Yep. Uh, mate, Travel's going to kill the Curtin boys <laughs> this week, I think. Um, now I've got the Coastal Cavs boys. Um, I've, I've got a feeling that they might top this division at the back end. Them and Pally, I think, are, are, are looking the two strongest teams in this, this championship division. So I'm going to pick the Coastal Cavs there by a fair bit. Arks might say something about that, and we'll go into their game. Arks v Southern Lions, Harrisdale. Yep. Southern Lions were red hot at the start of the season and unfortunately slipped a little bit. Who do you have in this one? Um, Arks, Southern Lions. I, I think the Arks boys will get the cheese there, mate. Yeah. That's number two for today. <laughs> um, yeah, the Southern Lions boys' um, form isn't that good at the moment. Their scrum's struggling, um, and I think they're injury ravaged. So I'll pick the Arts boys by 10 to 15 in that game, I think. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. And, and the last, uh, or second last one here, Perth Bays, what about Stunla, Pat O'Hara? Yeah. Both, both not there in terms of the form? Yeah. So who do you have? Um, I think, having seen a couple of the, uh, the Baysy games... Um, online, they're most probably more consistent than the June Lap boys at the moment. Watching them against UWA or refereeing them on uh, against UWA on the weekend, the June Lap boys need to get up and about to to pick the the Basie boys in this one. If they if they roll out what they rolled out on the weekend, they'll struggle against Perth Bayswater. So um, I'll pick Basie by three. Cool, um, but it'll be a good game. Nice. And last one, live stream match of the round, Palmyra versus Kalamunda. Uh, Kalamunda and Pally are actually my top two or two to make that um, you know, one and two position in the championship division. So I think this one's gonna, gonna be a cracker. I think Kalamunda will, will come out firing, but I think Pally in their recent run of form, even though they had a loss against Ox, I think will be too good in the end, uh, taking it probably by about a try or two. Um, over at Tompkins Park after the uh, under 18s game that played there as well. Perfect. If we have a look now, Coops, at our local hero of the week, you've got a local hero that you'd like to mention. Yeah, um, it is Jody French from Swan Suburbs. Um, her effort around the club um, is never ending, really. Um, I think she's been the president there um, for quite a number of years now. The amount of effort she puts in just to get teams out every year. But uh, what's most impressive is her and her committee this year, in the last two years have increased their participation by about 120%. Um, an initiative that they've brought on board is um, they don't want any of their junior rugby players to pay registration fees. So they work their, their butt off to um, fundraise, get sponsors um, and get money in the door to reduce the cost as much as possible. That's just showing in, in the number of players and teams that they're able to um, put out every week into community competition. So, Jody, awesome work, but obviously your committee as well behind you doing great things. So, keep up the good effort. I know that everyone at Swan Suburbs is grateful for that. Yeah, well done, Jody. Congratulations, Swan Suburbs. Um, if you have a local hero of the week, please remember to send it in to us. Give us a little background because we want to promote those people at the, in the community that are doing an outstanding job and aren't always recognised. So please send that in to Rugby WA Media. Last but not least here, Coops, TMO Clip of the Week, Liam Harrington over at Joondalup. You were you at this game? Yep, officiating. Do you want to you want to talk us through this one, what you saw? Yeah, just, just having a bit of a mare in the backfield um, with a bit of a kick downfield. So we'll let you, let you watch it, see what you think.
Just remember, guys, we need you guys to send the TMO Clip of the Week in. Um, anything funny from around the club, social events, um, guys doing stupid things um, during games, that kind of thing. Um, we're finding them at the moment, but we really want you guys to have some input there. So send them in, throw us a text message, whatever the, the case may be. We'll go and find it for you, but we need your input too. So Absolutely, yeah. So good work there. Good luck to everybody on this weekend. Um, we've got the women playing as well um, at a, or around the ground, so that'll be a cracker as well. And then all lo uh, local juniors playing as well. So I think this is their last round before a two-week break. So give it your all. Um, don't forget as well, if you're a junior, if you have kids, Rugby Roos holiday clinics are running through this holiday. So please have a look at the Rugby Roos website. There's both for beginners and experienced players, which we're catering for. So please sign up and enjoy your holiday break by having some upskilling so you can go into your club season and perform. Coops, thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure, mate. Good luck at the Boneyard. Thank you. Um, enjoy your weekend. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah. Thanks, mate. No All the best. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha.